You're watching Wish TV, News 8 at 11 with Phil Sanchez. Welcome back. Well, opening day isn't happening this spring. The MLB owners and the players haven't been able to strike a new deal, effective, effectively rather canceling the start of the season. A Brownsburg photographer, though, has captured the lockout, and tonight I speak with him about how he got that shot. James Black, thank you for joining us today. Thanks for having me, Phil. I appreciate it. Yeah. So tell me about this picture. <laughs> so uh, there's several pictures, apparently, and uh, it's really caught fire, right? So the MLB lockout happened uh, at the beginning of December, and we got a, essentially a call from my boss at Icon Sports Wire uh, requesting art uh, for the lockout. So that's what I did. I went down to uh, my local park where I used to play baseball with a bat and a chain and a baseball and a lock. And I took some pictures, uploaded them to the internet. And as the internet does, it sometimes goes crazy. And people uh, have really used the photos a ton, unfortunately, because the lockout's been going on for so long. Right. Um, Were you surprised by the, the, the reaction to the, to the photo? Yeah, I, I really was. Um, I, I expected more photographers to do it, I think was part of it. Um, but for the first few months, mine was really the only one out there. So that's really all they had to use there for a little bit. And uh, yeah, it's gone crazy. Uh, how'd you come up with the idea? Yeah, so uh, our boss, uh, his name is Tim Curley. He suggested, uh, he, he essentially just said a lock and a chain and maybe a baseball and then just let us kind of run with it. Um, so that's what I did. I picked up a new uh, lock and chain and an officially licensed baseball. And I went down to the ballpark with uh, some cool lighting, kind of dramatic lighting uh, to make it a more dramatic photo. Uh, the lockout is kind of a big dramatic thing. So that's what I wanted to kind of uh, portray in the photograph. And uh, I think it worked out pretty well. How long did it take you to get the right shot? Yeah, so I was down there for a couple hours probably uh, to, I took a bunch of photos, right? So that's what you do as a photographer. You take a ton of photos and essentially at some point, something will come out well. So that's what I did. I took a, a bunch of photos. I was, I was down there for probably a couple hours. I definitely got some weird looks from people uh, walking their dogs and just going on a jog. Like, what is this crazy guy doing up here at his baseball diamond with all of his stuff? So Right, yeah. right. So how and where has that photo been used? Yeah, so all kinds of different news organizations have used it whenever they wrote, uh, whenever they've written articles about the lockout, right? So it's been all over the internet, uh, Forbes and Yahoo and MSN, The Athletic, uh, all kinds of blogs. Each individual team has like their own blogs and they all use them from, you know, the Phillies or the Cubs or the Yankees or whatever. So yeah, it's been really all over the place. Amazing, amazing. Has it led to, to more work? Yeah, a little bit. I, I've, I've gotten definitely some people have been in contact with me saying that they've seen the photograph out there um, and we've been in talk and I've had a couple shoots that I think have kind of uh, been a derivative of that. Um, so it's worked out well. Hopefully, though, at some point they stop using the photo because the lockout's over. So, right. uh, but, uh, you know, as long as the lockout goes on, they'll keep using it. Yeah. So, uh, you know, I only have a couple questions left. Um, how gratifying is it as a photographer to have, you know, your work get get seen by so many people and and viewed by so many people and used yeah it's cool you, you know we take so many photographs and not you know just a very few very small percentage actually you know even get used or get out there and whenever something like this happens and it's so widely used it's like wow you know all the time and effort I put into it, it actually paid off. Um, it doesn't always work out that way. So it's nice whenever it does work out that way. And you actually see your photograph out there uh, being used and being enjoyed uh, by so many people. What's funny to me is when, when this story first uh, came, my, my assistant news director sent me the story from The Athletic. Uh, I opened it up. I, I read it. And, and of course, uh, the first thing I read, Brownsburg. And the, I know the, the connection between baseball and Brownsburg. Um, so, so tell us, you did that at Arbuckle, I think, right? Yeah, it, it's weird. You know, Indiana isn't necessarily a mecca of baseball, right? There's no major league team. We have the Indians, but, you know, there's the Cubs and the Reds, and there's so many teams that are close to us, uh, but we don't have a major league team ourselves. But, yeah, I shot it out in Brownsburg. That's where I grew up, and I grew up playing baseball out there. Um, I was right there in the middle of whenever we, we won the four state championships. Mm -hmm. I wasn't on the team, but uh, I played with those guys. 
And yeah, it was those those few years whenever I was eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, uh, we won four state championships in a row. Two of the teams went to the Little League World Series. And at that point, baseball was just nuts for us, obviously, right. as little kids and uh going to Williamsburg and all those all the stuff that those kids got to do. Yeah. So yeah, it was cool being able to do it in Brownsburg, uh, which obviously has such a great history with baseball. No doubt, no doubt. Well, James, hopefully we get major league baseball back soon and uh good luck to you. Thanks, Phil. I appreciate it.